Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to witness an ancient rite. Marriage was established by God himself in the Garden of Eden. The marriage covenant is intended to be a picture of God's covenant with the church, his bride. It is a covenant of mutual love and commitment between the bride and the groom to hold fast to one another. In this covenant, we will no longer be two, but today we become one. Please join in witnessing this covenant between Rachel and Mark. I've always thought that there had to be someone extremely special in order to put up with me. But I never dreamed there'd be someone as special as you. I love the way that you care and respect all those around you, and how you've always cared for me. I love how you challenge me in all areas of my life, and how you're never afraid to tell me no. I love all the ways that we're so different from the way that you plan things to how you have a wide range of emotions. I love you so much, and I promise that I will always be there to keep you warm and play games with you. I promise that you will be willing to make a blanket for it and dance in the living room together. I promise to be there for you to see sick and thin, and always have you and be ready to hold you in my arms. Above all else, I promise to lead you in a way that is honoring to God as we both grow in our faith together. I know I've said this many times before, Rachel, and I know I'll be saying it for the rest of our lives, but I don't know how I can possibly love you. standing here today. <laughs> but now, I could not imagine anyone else that I would rather go through life's ups and downs with. I love how spontaneous and adventurous you are, and how you show you love me by occasionally planning a date several days ahead of time. I promise to be flexible in my days, enjoying the fun that we can have on a moment's notice, and to be patient, even when we get lost and might be running late for our next event. Throughout our whole lives, I will pray for and support you as the leader of our family, encouraging you as you walk according to God's will for our lives. I will look to your interests above my own, doing nothing out of selfish motives, striving to love and serve you better each day as your wife. I promise to cook more than just noodles for every meal, <laughs> and to be by your side as just friends forever, until the day that the Lord takes us home. But Ephesians chapter 4, 32 says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. I pray that this verse would be what your marriage proclaims, that your marriage would be marked by your kindness to one another, forgiving each other often, just as Christ in his kindness has forgiven you. What a reflection of the gospel your marriage is, and I pray that it will proclaim Christ and his glory loudly and boldly. Braden, we are very happy that Rachel chose you and you chose her. We have enjoyed getting to know you, your love of being with people, and your sense of humor. We're so thankful to God for you two finding each other, and we are just so proud of you. We love you, Braden. 
Welcome to our family. Welcome to the family. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, I am pleased to present to you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Braden and Rachel. 